Hello, and welcome to Bear Necessities. I am Bear, and today we are going to be going over bards. So bards are a support class. They are also in the scout archetype. So uh, if you haven't watched the scout basics video, I'll link it in the description. Make sure you check that out. Um, it'll give you an idea of some of the things that all scouts have. But without further ado, let's go ahead and start digging into bard specific abilities. Once we go over bard generally, I'll go over the two classes within that subtype, and that is Troubadour and Dirge. I have a Troubadour here, and I'll use it as the uh, um, the class that I go over the, the bard basics with. Here we are in Antonica. And uh, we've got some dark paw pups here that we'll be showcasing some of the skills on. But let's go ahead and just jump right in. So bards are, um, they they get a special run speed song. So I, th I, I, I realized that um, you probably noticed in scout basics that every scout gets pathfinding. And that's true for bards as well. They get, um, they get the pathfinding skill very early on level four. Um, but, uh, they also get Cellos Accelerando, um, of course you're not going to get these, this one, uh, let's see if I can do like the old ones, max level only, uh, Cellos, and th this, this has AOE, or, um, AAs in it as well, but I think we get, yeah, you get three by the end, level 41, and it says it increases group uh, speed of group members by 59%. Pretty sure it's not that high. Um, the one I have, oh, the one I have going right now is 59%. But um, I'm thinking that it's it's around the the 40% or something like that. Can't remember off the top of my head what percent it goes up to in classic. But that's pretty fast because like uh, me running right now. I'm running pretty fast and, and I have my mount off. So no mount right now. And um, it's pretty fast run speed. And th this works in, in dungeons as well. So pretty sure it's the highest run speed that you can get um, in dungeons. So it's really nice to have a bard in your group for run speed. Now the second thing that both bards have is a mana song. and. You can see I'm scaled down right now to level 15. Um, and the combat power regen is 8.1. And that's per server tick. In my opinion, um, and this is obviously just my opinion, the power regen that you get from these group buffs are not very good. Um, and enchanters have ones as well. I believe they're potentially better but um, still not as good, or not 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 very good. Um, because, I mean, even one spell, let's see how much, just one ability costs. Um, 24. It would take three ticks of uh, this power song to even get me one ceremonial blade. So, I... Um, I don't think these are very widely used, but both bards have them. I wanted to mention it. Um, maybe it's something in classic, but probably not. <clears throat> There's a uh, a group spell debuff, um, or spell resistance debuff. It also decreases combat mit. Um, both bards get this. And so it's, it's encounter as well, so you can use it on, on groups. Um, or if you use it on a group encounter, it'll, it'll debuff the entire group. There is a strength and agile debuff. And um, there's something about these, about, about bard debuffs that's kind of interesting. Uh, and I'll go ahead and use them here. They do recur a, uh, what's called a, they have a recurrent power cost. So um, it, it, it's going to slowly drain my power. Now I'm on a troubadour, so I have some power. 
power buffs or uh, power drains and stuff but something to keep in mind and then the last thing I really want to talk about that specifically about bards or just generally about bards is um, spells uh, bards have lots of spells um, I mean if you do max level only let's see how many pages so we've got like uh, three full well, two and a half pages of spells and when it comes to combat arts we have two pages of combat arts oh well not even two pages really like one page and like one and some of these are AA abilities so when it comes to when it comes to spell or bards uh, you actually have a lot more spells than combat arts um, so like I have one, two, these are just damaging spells. I have one, two, three, four, five, and six if you count this dot. And then I have one, two, three, four, five combat arts. And that's only if you account for this ranged uh, combat art. And you have one backstab, and then you have one, uh, uh, gosh, why can't I think of it? Uh, shroud ability. So. Bards are very heavily spell-oriented classes. Um, I think dirges maybe have a little bit more, but I can't remember. Uh, we'll be looking at them next. Um, but yeah, bards are very spell-heavy classes, which is abnormal for a scout. Um, most of the time, scouts are in. They have lots of melee attacks, and that's about it. Um, so, I mean, that's a good thing if you think about it, too, because, um, I mean whenever you have to joust out like you can be in and you can be doing you know your melee attacks whatever and if you have to be out for something like these are completely completely ranged so you can you can use these your spells completely ranged uh, which is really nice um all right well that's enough for bard let's jump in to just troubadour that's what we're on right now so uh, we'll start with the group buffs, and um, this is going to be a long, long thing because uh, bards have or uh, troops have a lot of group buffs. So let's start out with Raxel's Rousing Tune. It gives you Agi, Wiz, and Int, as well as a little bit of um, Nox to Elemental, Noxious, and Arcane. So magic type uh, uh, resistances, which is nice. Uh, we have haste, group haste with Allegretto, it's really nice. We have group casting speed, or uh, casting skills, so all of your disruption, subjugation, ordination, administration, aggression, and focus. So that's the first three. We have Aria of Magic, which is a spell proc. So essentially, any time it says on a hostile spell, this has this uh, spell has a forty-five percent chance to cast dissonant note, uh, which is just a, a proc. So it, it's going to do an extra amount of mental damage every time you proc that, and that's on spells. So that means all of your spells. Now, that forty-five percent chance is 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 augmented with AO, or AA, so uh, it's not going to be that much, but. Next, you have uh, Alan's Serene Serenade, which is a group de-hate, or hate gain reduction. Um, so it says decreases hate gain of group members by 11.9%, if not fighter. And then when you're damaged, um, it's going to decrease your threat. So anytime you get hit, you're going to decrease your threat, if you're not a fighter, of course. HP regen is the next one. Rejuvenating Celebration gives you stamina, combat health regen. The combat health regen is like negligible, but the uh, stamina is, is pretty nice. Uh, and then you have uh, defense, group defense, increases group uh, defense of group members by 5.8. Uh, in terms of like, say you're in a mage group, um, the abilities that you're really going to be using um, because well, that's the thing, you only get five concentration slots, right? So you can only do five group buffs. Um, you're probably going to be using uh, 
your your haste, your your buff, um, or your your strength was agile, uh, potentially casting skills, um, and then your d hate. Well, and then on, and your spell proc. Now there's um, in later expansions you can potentially um, get certain set bonuses and stuff that removes concentration on some of these. So then you can you can add in something else. Um, like in raids, sometimes one you'll have two troubadours. One troub will run um, elemental resist, and one will run arcane resist. So let's talk about those real quick. Um, so you have two resist spells. Uh, one increases your elemental resist, and this actually affects the entire raid, um, which is really nice. And then one is arcane resist, and you later get AAs that actually puts regenerating wards. Um, and also has a chance of anytime you get hit by an elemental spell, there's a 25% chance that it just uh, cures you of it immediately, which is super nice. Um, so yeah, that's the group spells. Um, and as you can tell, that was a lot of group spells. All right. Let's go over some namesake skills. So... Um, bards have um, Mez and they have Charm, which is something that is um, not really widely used, but it, it is in your toolkit. So let's just open up those skills real quick and take a look at them. Um, it says uh, Charms, if outside an arena, certain enemies cannot be charmed, only 98 and below. Um, Mez is going to... Uh, mesmerize the target so essentially just full full stuns it um it prevents aoe so if someone's next to it and using blues it won't it won't get hit it's dispelled when it takes damage so the way that mesmerize works is essentially it's a full stun until someone hits it so let's let's kind of test this out so he is mez you can see the little things on him so unless i go up and hit him directly he's gonna stay mezzed And uh, let's charm this guy. How about that? Charm. I want to charm this guy. Then I'm going to have a pet. I don't have my pet window open. Oh, yeah, I do. It's over here. All right. So as you can see, this one right here is my pet. And he's attacking this one. Because it auto attacks if, if they attack you. So I have a little pet for a little while. He's going to follow me around. Um, I don't have, uh, like, oh, okay. So it just, it just dispelled. So you can see that's a very short term, but it's, um, that that's kind of how it works. <laughs> and, uh, it's something that only troubadours get. So I, I mean, there are instances where, uh, having the charm is nice. Um, sometimes there's certain mobs that are like in places where uh, you don't want to like pull everything around it and you can you can charm it bring it up to you break the charm and then you can just kill it right there oh, so it's an easy way to pull um, but other than that it's not like super super useful um, Thunderous Overture, I wanted to give a mention of this one. This used to be a, a long time ago. It was just a single target, extra single target damage spell. Um, now it's a PPAOE, which is really nice. So it's going to hit everything around you. It's on a very short recast, only 10 seconds. Um, so this is a really nice spell that can bring you a lot of AOE damage as a, as a troubadour. Um, and it's something that, you know, dirges do not get. And then, finally, the one thing I wanted to mention, too, is, so you get this AoE uh, interrupt that does um, mental damage on the encounter. Um, you've got a, a mental dot. You also have uh, mental damage that increases the power of your group. And you have just an interrupt that's also mental damage on the target encounter. So you have a decent amount of... Um, just damaging um, group encounter spells more than 
more than dirge. Um, and uh, so that's something to keep in mind when it comes to encounter damage and when it comes to um, just AOE damage in general, troubadours definitely kind of have an upper hand. And also added to the fact that they have this song um, area of magic that does uh, that procs off of hostile spells. Um, I will do some like honor, like some mentions of future spells. Um, in the next expansion, you're gonna get uh, a group spell proc that's a hundred percent spell proc, and it's like a short duration. So um, that's something to keep in mind uh, for the future. Uh, you also um, in the future we'll get some some really interesting a AAs and um, in uh, Echoes of Phaedwer but that's like three expansions away so I wouldn't really do my selection based on that quite yet because uh, that's going to be a long time from now um, but um, you know there's there's really good good things to come when it comes uh, to Troubadour and spells um, they're just get a lot of good stuff as well and I'll be talking about some of those things but I wanted to at least mention you know you get the 100% proc on, in the next expansion which is pretty nice um, let's just talk a little bit about uh, the uh, general play style of, of troops um, you know you're gonna be buffing casters through and through um, you know, you've got the, the healer caster primary stats. You got it was, um, you get the casting spells, spell proc, hate gain reduction. Um, they provide so many caster DPS buffs. They get that 100% cast proc next expansion. Um, they get some AAAs and, and EOF again that increase spell range. You get some regenerating wards on those elemental arcane. We talked a little bit about that. Um, but even for classic, like every mage wants a, a troubadour in their group. They're just that good. So something to talk about generally when it comes to just play style of bards too. Um, you know, they're, they're always wanted in groups. Um, usually you don't want to stack up bards though. Like you don't want a group with like two troubadours. Um, you know, sometimes it's it's nice to have a true anadurge in a group, um, but you know that's usually not done as well. It's usually just kind of like you got one bard and one enchanter in every group um, when it comes to raids. Um, when it comes to play style, it, I, I kind of talked about it at the beginning, but like you have so few um, melee skills that like you can actually do a decent amount of damage from range. So like when when you are kind of um, you know, you're out for an AOE, or maybe you have to range a certain fight, um, you can still do a decent amount of damage from range, which is nice. Um, and then also, you know, of course, I'm not going to go into like optimal rotations and things like that, but like always keep the principle of ABC, always be casting. So even if you're in or if you're out, like always be making sure you're using abilities. Um, when your GCD is down, um, or when your GCD is not down. And, uh, yeah, that's it for Troubadour. So, um, we will be back with the Dirge. All right, here we have the Dirge. So with the Dirge, um, everything of course holds that, um, the uh, bards have but let's go ahead and start digging into group buffs so the group buff for um, stats gives strength and agile so tanks and scouts they get um, Rhea's relentless tune which it says it's multi-attack chance and damage and healing of combat arts um, but that's only on the server. On the TLE servers, it's going to give DPS mod, which is nice. You have Songster's Luck, which is weapon skills. So while um, Troubadours have cast skills, they give slashing, crushing, piercing, and ranged. 
there's a combat hit damage uh, proc. So while troubadours get the um, proc on spell, dirges are going to get combat hit proc. So that's going to proc off of melee and melee attacks. Instead of defense, they get parry. And instead of the arcane and elemental resist songs, they will get a Nox song. So it gives Nox resistance to the raid, as well as that regenerating ward once you get AAs and later expansions. So that's all the group buffs. Let's talk a little bit about the namesake skills. Uh, Dirges get hate gain. So uh, this is nice for, for tank groups. Um, main tank, off tank, uh, whichever. Um, being able to give hate hate gain to your tanks um, is nice. They have, uh, in classic at least, they have a single target uh, resurrection buff. Or uh, not buff, spell. So someone dies, they res. Um, historically, uh, I would say that like um, they are some of the primary resers in, in the raid, uh, when it comes to just, especially as, uh, expansions go on and things, um, healers can obviously still res, uh, but there are some fights in later expansions where there is a lot of, for lack of better term, pressure on the healers. There's curses that need to be cured. There's specific cures that need to be done quickly uh, for your group and things like that so if someone dies um, dirges often are like the primary resers uh, you will get a group res in next expansion level 58 um, but for classic you just have a single target res and then one thing I wanted to mention kind of as a, a thing specifically for dirges is they, they do have one more group debuff um, in terms of uh, like a mitt debuff. While both bards get the strength and agile debuff and the um, the elemental resist debuff, they also get a physical mitt debuff. So it decreases combat mitt and physical mitt, which is nice. Uh, and then they also get an extra one that decreases the haste. So they get four AOE debuffs um, while I think you get three on troop. So that's really it for dirges. Um, you do get some extra, like you get like an extra sneak ability um, combat art. So technically you have one more combat art than troops do, um, which is nice. But other than that, you still have lots of spells. I mean, you, you get this uh, AOE or group encounter dot which is nice um you get hell hell of death which is it heals you while um i know some of the the troop spells like you use them and they'll deal damage and give you power back um as a dirge you get ones that deal damage and, and heal you back at least for hell of death which is nice um <clears throat> so that's uh that's really it for dirges. Let's talk a little bit about them and, and kind of where they go. Um, you know, they, they buff scouts, tanks, melee. You can tell just with their scout tank primary stats, DPS mod, weapon skills, combat hit proc. They just provide a lot of melee debuffs um, in the future. And they, I, I mentioned the res, but they also get a group stone skin buff. Um, so it's a chance to, to proc a stone skin. Um, that's in the next expansion, so that's pretty freaking awesome. They get a hundred percent, just just like uh, troops get a hundred percent spell proc, they get a hundred percent melee proc, and then they also get some awesome A's A in you know EOF further on. They give extra proc percent, uh, regenerating wards to their Nox buff, um, but even in classic, a melee group's gonna want to dirge for sure. Um, just because of all the buffs that they bring. All right, so that's it for Bards. And um, thanks everyone for watching. If, if you have any comments, uh, 
any sort of constructive criticism, please leave it in the comments below. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell and you'll be notified when new content is available. Uh, what we have coming up is um, a Mage Basics and then we're going to go over the Enchanter Classics or Enchanter Classes as well. Um, and then uh, finally, the last classes we're really going to be going over are going to be the Rogues and Predators, and then the Summoners and Sorcerers. So we've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got uh, quite a few videos before uh, the launch in, in 12 days. So we're, we're getting close there. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy, and uh, I'll see you next time.